Where did the Chinese people come from? Why are there so many of them and how exactly did they stay secluded for so long? Nobody really knows, but we all have theories. Wait, do you hear this? A stunning world fact that does not directly relate to any civilization, but has defined our thoughts of some cultures is the fact the pyramid correlations occur not only in Mexico and Egypt, but also in China. The Chinese pyramids seemingly align to the belt stars of Orion in a layout pattern synonymous with Egypt and Mexico. What this suggests overwhelmingly actually is the fact that if these layouts are correct, and they do appear to be, then one world culture did exist and a shared knowledge was in place. This suggests a unity in the past that was then lost and this was probably well before this current wave of existence. Before we classified each culture by name and defined each other by achievement, the Earth, as it were, was a one world culture that was more closely connected than we even consider today. Maybe Pangaea was this one world culture, but that's another story. Today we are talking about the Chinese and their mysterious origins. It is often surmised that China has the oldest culture on Earth, but then why didn't they dominate the globe? The key foundations of China are echoed in The Great Survivor. The origin story of these people are eerily similar to other world cultures, and this demonstrates a one world event that distanced our people apart and stole from us the unification that confounds our understanding of these times today. Chinese archaeologists have now announced significant achievements and advancements at the Shu Anghu Aishu site in central China providing key proof of the origin of the nearly 6,000-year-old Chinese civilization's emergence. The ancient city relic dating back to roughly around 5,300 years was proposed by a Chinese archaeologist to be named He Lua Kingdom, after its location in the center of He Lua area, where the Yellow River and the Lua Hua River meet. The professor of Peking University said in a recent online statement that the Shu Ang Hu A Isu site is the highest standard cluster with the nature of a capital city discovered so far in the Yellow River Basin in the middle of the late stage of Yang Shao culture, the early stage of the formation of Chinese civilization. A large number of relics of the Yang Shao culture dating back from 5,000 to an eye-catching 7,000 years have been discovered at the site which has just been revealed by the Municipal Research Institute of Cultural Relics and Archaeology at a recent press conference. A member of the Chinese Academy of Sciences said at the press conference that the important archaeological findings prove that the representativeness and influence of the He Lao area in the golden stage of the origin of Chinese civilization around 5,300 years ago. The continuous effort to discover the past highlights a broken cycle in cultural development across the entire planet. Dramatic events aid our forgetfulness, but documentary evidence should exist and in many cases it simply does not or has not yet been rediscovered. This civilization is the longest continuous civilization on Earth, with the possible exception of the Hindus, yet still it remains that we are on a path of recovery and discovery of the things that we have seemingly completely forgotten about. But what do you guys think about this anyway? Comments below, and as always, thank you for watching.